Hi guys and welcome back. So uh, um, I want to show you how to create a virtual emulator. For this we should open the Eclipse and here we find the Android Virtual Device Manager. It's the second button. Click on it. And actually I have some devices already added. Um, but let's create one. Click on create. Here is the button. Uh, give him a name. Uh, usually I give them names which indicates me uh, how much inches I have on this emulator. Let's uh, see. Um, here we have a device. We have the list of the devices. Also um, the characteristics of the devices. So let's, uh, for example, add a device with 10, 10 inches, Nexus 10. Uh, at the name, I'll write 10 inches. 10, actually, it's 10.055 inches. At the target, will we write what uh, Android should have this uh, device this simulator installed um, let's create in uh, the last version it's API level 20 what CPU da do we need it's doesn't import um, should be hardware keyboard present or no let it be to the skin hvga or oh let it be front camera we don't i don't uh, usually use cameras in my application so i wouldn't i wouldn't attach one to this emulator how much run RAM should have this simulator. Let's give him 1000 RAM. Heap size. It should be uh, usually on uh, devices. It's it's minimum 16 megabytes, and it's very 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 bad. Uh, but uh, it's hard to create applications which use uh, images because uh, you can get heap size errors. So on our emulator it's good but we can give him how much we want. Next, internal storage. 200 megabytes. Should we have an SD card or not? It's not important. Now click OK. And our Here we go. We just created this one. Now we can use it as a virtual emulator and to test our applications on it. That's all. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.